over the years I've had students that uh, did not want to use a pick and usually they just kind of want to use their thumb and strum and thumb strumming is totally legit but to limit yourself to uh, just one kind of way to dig in on the guitar I'm not a huge fan of so but you know a pick basically you hold it on the side of your uh, index finger with your thumb just let a small part of the tip come out then you can you know dig in and dig in and get a good sound out of every note you know the pick takes the pressure off your thumb can do it but man that's a lot of uh, wear and tear on your skin but again it's possible. I've had people get kind of upset with me because I keep pushing them towards the uh, pick because the style of music they want to play is done with a pick. So that's why I probably push it. But if you don't want to use a pick, then you can do, say, like, uh, let's say this G major 7 chord with a pick, you know, or... cool but it's a little one-dimensional so you know thumb that's cool or you can roll it like you can kind of like roll like da 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 thumb index middle ring so you just want to be able to use don't just use your thumb use more fingers say like you could use your your you could brush with your nails like a that's how we were taught from mrs gunderson down down up up down up she call that a brush when you go down with your nails and a sweep when you come up down she would write B B S S B S for brush, brush sweep, sweep br uh, brush sweep or whatever it was. Down. I just call it down, down, up, up, down, up. You can also mute. So that's pretty cool. So I do a lot of stuff with my fingers, you know, like, uh, but again, what I do, my, my hands are going to get chewed up not using, let's say you had to play Johnny Be Good. Okay, that's going to be like two and a half minutes of thumb just ripping your side of your thumb off and then you got to play 39 more songs just like it I wouldn't no I wouldn't <laughs> but you can do things like uh I'm using my thumb and index to kind of uh bounce you know thumb is hitting second string index is hitting first string that's just back and forth so you can really get it rolling if you used a pick on that it's a lot of back and forth it's possible A lot of times it's thumb and index and maybe get the middle in for three note uh, you know triplets or if you do stuff kind of like uh, classical style downstroke or an upstroke or the thumb 
or the individual. So yeah, playing without a pick is cool. And sometimes I'll be, you know, doing a gig and, you know, I'll tell my students, you must use the pick, blah, blah, blah. And they'll come to my gig and I'm sitting there, you know, and I see this, I see the student like, ah, I can explain. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm not the absolute authority on anything, really, so. Just for me, the pick is an important part of the gig. Uh, if you want to explore not using a pick, try not to just get hooked. Check yourself and see if you're only using your thumb or just one finger or something, you know, only one finger or developing some kind of weird habits that you might want to correct. Another thing, if you drop your pick, can do some fast picking so I I've uh, what do you call it anchored my picking hand with my ring and thumb and index is just swinging in the middle kind of exhausting the pick is much better but you can do a little flourishes up of course you've got your patterns It's up to you. Uh, the stuff I'm going to do is probably going to be using a pick as far as uh, instructional and so forth, but uh, that is about all I really know about that stuff right there. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Keep practicing.